Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen I thought I would make a quick video of my valve amplifier uh, in uh, which is fitted to my row AMI jukebox this has two amplifiers in it uh, this is the row AMI diplomat uh, model number Jan 200 JAN 200 manufactured in 1965 I'm not going to power it up there is a there is a video already on my uh, on my uh, YouTube account where this can be heard running so I'm not going to go to the trouble of powering it up uh, <clears throat> uh, the amplifier the amplifier is uh, this is a fit this is a 50 watt a 50 watt amplifier it's uh, stereo it's uh, 25 times 2 which is 25 watts per channel uh, some nice big output valves there uh, uh, the small valves there they're double EC they're double ECC 83 uh, one per channel uh, the output valves are seven seven eight six eight seven eight six eight on the output valves um i don't think the i don't think the ones i i don't think the ones that are actually in it are that i can't remember what they are let's have a quick look see if we can see the number on one because i'm not going to go messing about pulling valves out no, i'm not doing that <laughs> Uh, the rectifier, the, re the rectifier is a 5U4GB, uh, oh that's what the original would have been, ow, alright, then we have the, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll pull one of these audio valves out and I'll tell you what the actual number is, what I actually fitted them with. Doesn't say. <sighs> Just says Con Limited. Made in the USA. Oh, right, yeah, it does. Oh, they're the same as what I actually put in. Seven, eight, six, eight. They're actually the same. They're actually the same. I thought they were a different number. Don't ask me why I thought that. Right, let's just put this valve back in. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I am cack handed meaning I am left handed. Alright let's have a quick look at the preamp because this has a separate preamp module in it as well uh, this uh, jukebox as all decent jukeboxes did have uh, this is the R3389A uh, preamplifier module um, and this, uh, this actually has two ECC actually it doesn't it has three uh, I'm sure that's a double ECC83 there because I think it's used as a driver just whip him out and have a look yeah the only thing I don't like about this is putting these back in because the sockets are recessed I hate being left handed as well I mean, I'm not really bothered if I actually accidentally break an ECC83. I've got loads of them. Right, and the uh, the preamplifier valves on this. I won't call them tubes because we're in England. They're valves. Uh, we're English. They're valves. Uh, it's 6AW8A. 6AW8A A on the uh, preamp on the preamp valves. And 
like I say, you get uh, this free e double EC C eight two uh, free double free double EC C eighty threes on this. Uh, yeah, free C free EC C eighty threes. Um, two two nice big two nice big output transformers there. A nice big mains transformer. Uh, this amplifier runs at 110 volts, as does the rest of the machine. It's uh, it has an auto transformer hidden in it, uh, hidden in the back panel there, to uh, reduce the voltage from 240 to 110, so it'll run. I'll give you a look on the underside of this amplifier um, when I go back into the workshop because I've actually got one in the drawer which I can uh, show you the underside of because I've got one I've got one in my bottom drawer which uh, is earmarked to be repaired uh, it does work but it's got it suffers from low HT so it doesn't work correctly so I'm gonna have to have a go at that <coughs> and uh, I'll make I'll, I'll make I'll make I'll make I'll make a separate video of that uh, and I'll call it uh, Roami Valve Amp 2. Uh, I'll do do a separate video on that one. But like I say, I'm not going to power this up. Because there's nothing... Well, you know, there's a lot of good records in it. But unfortunately, YouTube will just mark it as copyrighted material. So, you know. And, uh, and before you leave us, Mark, which I hope you change your mind on that. Uh, Mark as in the, co the Cobra Man. Uh, before you leave us, I hope you have a quick look at this. I'm pretty sure you'll find it interesting. You might find me a bit uh, uninteresting, but uh, I'm pretty sure you'll find this interesting because I know you love your valves. And, you know, uh, hopefully you'll see it before you leave us. And speaking of leaving us, I hope you change your mind and decide not to because... As so many people say, and I agree with them, your videos are entertaining and very informative. And funny at the same time. Not a lot of people can do that. Uh, there's a little what do you call it down on here as well. For selecting the wattage. Let's just shift these wires. There we go. That's for adjusting the wattage. Uh, uh, for the uh, speakers and there we go there's the little is he going to focus you also have the bass and treble on the preamp as well unfortunately though they're not, uh, they're not variable potentiometers they're actually switches I would like it I would have preferred it if they'd have put uh, potentiometers in. Right, well, that's in, that, that, that's enough of a look at that. And the volume control is there on the back for the amplifier, obviously. And the little red button next to it, uh, that's actually the self-destruct button. So you have to be very careful not to press that. Because uh, if you press it, it, obviously it cancels your record. And destroys, just, it can destroy your afternoon. Right, thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen. Uh, goodbye for now.